color harmonies are wonderful to work with. The best part about it is that you begin to master the characteristics of the paints that you're working in by testing them for transparency, intensity, tinting strength, and the various other characteristics of the paint and putting together the colors that work best together. When you've done that, then you can combine these colors into triads that will mix beautiful color wheels that have a special kind of expression, uh, each very distinctive from the other. We start, when the, the, probably the most important characteristic that we need to test is called tinting strength. Tinting strength is the relative ability of a color to influence a mixture. Here we have two colors, Rose Matter Genuine and Alizarin Crimson. Now when this crimson is thinned out, as you can see, it's very similar to this delicate color. But when this is about as powerful as this color can get. So you cannot expect a color like this to influence this color in a mixture. And then a powerful color like this will completely negate the effect of this color. So the way to test your colors is very simple. You just make a swatch. As you can see, I've already lined these up. But, but the way I got to that point was simply to work with the colors on my palette and lay one color beside another after I made, got a little bit of it on my brush. And it's, it's very clear, it's very easy to see. Now the different brands of color will work differently, so you have to be aware of that. Now here's cobalt blue. So I put that down and then I look at another blue to see what this blue is going to do. It's very clear, a great difference in tinting strength. And there's still another, one more blue. This one is phthalo blue, and this is an extremely powerful color. So you need to work your way all the way around your palette and test all of your colors for intensity of tinting strength. Now you also have a range of colors in the earth family, and so you do that also. But these colors are going to be kept separate from the colors over here that I just did because these earth colors have their own special harmony in the way they are used together. So they also have to be tested for intensity and tinting strength. But the rule behind this whole system is that you don't combine these earth colors with these bright, saturated, intense colors. So here's how you test your tinting strength, and here's a range of colors that I've already tested. You can see the difference. I never mix this palette with this palette because these are way too strong over here, and they overcome the colors on this side. These can go either way as a rule, this way or this way, but the two on the end should not be mixed. Once you've learned the characteristics of your paints and you know which ones are the weakest in tinting strength and which are the strongest, you can combine them into beautiful triads that will give you absolute control over the harmony in your paintings. And that's why I call these the color harmony compatible colors. We take these colors, and we combine them. This whole color wheel was painted from three colors. This is called the Intense Palette. Here's the beginning of a palette called the Bright Earth Palette. And as you can see, I've started with the three primaries of the Earth colors. When you see all of these colors together on one chart, you can realize how different the color expression is in these color harmony triads. So you have a delicate palette where all of the colors that you mix around the color wheel are absolutely harmonious with the delicate triad that you paint it with. We have a standard palette that is made up of workhorse colors that makes earthy landscape type colors. And when we have a stronger palette that's called the intense palette. And then we also have these three beautiful variations of earth colors, each one made with three what I call primary colors. But what they really are is the equivalent of a primary. So here, for example, I have Payne's Gray as blue. 
and burnt sienna as red, yellow ochre, coming in for the yellow up here. Each one of them will give an absolutely consistent harmony of color to your painting when you put them together. And just to show you what actually happens when you put these in a painting, here are six little paintings done with each of the harmony triads. The delicate, the standard, the intense, the earthy color, the earthy opaques, the old master's triad, and the bright earth triad. And as you can see, you can get a very different color expression with each of the color harmony triads.